and we're live. My dad Jill had me here today, isn't it? It's just a tad. Hello, hello. There's plenty of seating to the left and to the right. <laughs> so no pushing, no shoving. Who sits in front? We do. Oh. Bride side or groom side, is that what you're saying? <laughs> and way up in the balcony. There's more seats. You have a balcony? We have a balcony. Wow. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Roxy. Kathy and Maria. Judy. Dixie. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Everybody's being quiet tonight. They're here, but they're not talking. Oh, you're welcome, Antoinette. Yeah, I got mine late the other day, too, from somebody else's live. By the time I get in, got in there, it was like 15 minutes in already. Hi, Gail. I'm Courtney. So I have the tiles down in front of the camera that we did last, well, that I did last week because Mr. Allen was pretty sick. I was faking it. <laughs> you were not faking it. You were miserable. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Jen. Colleen. Is there any sound yet? Dixie's having a problem. Um, everything's plugged in. Mike's on. Hi, Jasmine. All the way from Brisbane. Gettysburg, Gloria and Holly. Hi, Sherry. You want to um, start showing them last week's titles? Don't, yeah, I was going to say don't turn that tray because the one's underneath. Let's see if we can take it up close. Maria. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, welcome from Argentina. Those tiles right there. Right. They're pretty. They're pretty. Kind of underneath. You can put them right in the rack, babe. I cleared two, two shelves. So the set on your right these over here. Now the turquoise ones are already sold. 
to my left. Yeah, those are sold already. Check under the video too, Judy, while she can't hear me. Because uh, sometimes that volume button is off. These are the four inch ceramic tiles, um, like you put on a backsplash. They're about, I don't know, quarter inch, a little more than quarter inch. Um, if you can't get Floetrol, you can use just glue and water or some type of pouring medium, like Liquitex pouring medium or um, Golden GAC 800. Oh, she's good now. <laughs> oh, it, she's got a new phone and her sound's not working. Anything else you would like to display? No. For doing show and tell? I put everything on the curing racks today. There's nothing in there. It's all gone. I see Monica made it out of uh, Walmart. <laughs> Good, Monica. Alan's much better. He still uh, gets a little croupy cough going there, but we vegged all day yesterday. Oh, good, Dar. Um, I don't know. We just, I don't know how many times I fell asleep yesterday watching TV with him, so we definitely got enough rest yesterday. I'm good. <laughs> he has been on the couch all week, so I've had to bed to myself for a whole week. It's going to be very hard to let him back in. <laughs> this has been like two weeks. Yeah, you haven't painted in two weeks. I forget what I'm supposed to do. Oh, making sure. Antoinette, you could actually pour on glass and incorporate that into your stained glass works, but you'd have to probably resin them. I missed it, Bri. What should I name what? I did miss him last week. It's nice to have someone read the comments to me. Oh, Brian's annoying green. <laughs> okay, we'll do that, Brian. <laughs> yes, Maria, you can share all those Cheetos. And then when they're done with the Cheetos, you can give them each a piece of chocolate. Ah, Nate. Nate's being bad. He's on his phone at work. Shh. He's probably hiding somewhere in a corner. <laughs> yeah, that would be tough, Antoinette. I'm not sure because I know the glass is much thinner on stained glass. Yeah, 
It's Boilermaker time. Oh, we haven't done one of those in a long time. You might want to adjust that. Pull that camera out and turn it because it looks like you're at an angle. And then tilt it down. That's better. It's not so angling now. Better? Take a hike, William. Kids. I'm going to try a boiler maker with black. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> so I need something that's going to pop underneath that black. So you're doing a boiler maker, huh? Yes. And what colors are you gonna use? That's what I'm working on. Uh, Monica, we're gonna do 11 by 14s. Is that what we're doing? On New Year's Eve. I don't know. Yeah, because we have a lot of 11 by 14s. Um, it is 9.13 p.m. Eastern Time. And Alan is using, I believe, a 12-ounce cup. That's what I get my iced tea in. <laughs> she got her happy meal. I don't, go to, I don't go to McDonald's at all, Marilyn. Alan brings me home a happy meal every once in a while. <laughs> so I save my cups. Always got my sweet tea. Every anytime we eat out anywhere, we save our cups. Because I have Burger King and I have Quiznos and Hardee's and <laughs> Herbies. We go out to lunch every Saturday afternoon. And okay, so my canvas size 14 by 14. Color choices Lucas Gold Browns. Remember the camera's the other way still. This way. <laughs> Lucas Gold Browns. Lucas Sand. Deco Art Royal Ruby. And Porage Posse, Fresh Powder Blue, Iridescent Pearl. Did you shake all those out? Not yet. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, Nate. <laughs> Sold her a copy maker and got us a new subscriber. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to work, Nate. 
Me too. Well, ours is mostly lunches. We do, um, was it two nights a week? We order out usually, but we don't order out junk food when we order out. We usually get like a salad, Greek salad or something yummy. Are you off until after Christmas then, Nate? If it was just me and Alan, we'd probably eat out more often for dinner. <clears throat> because we like our salads and we like our our healthy, yummy food. But, you know, when you got young men living here, they want burgers and fries all the time. Or chicken. <laughs> they get tired of chicken, though. So if anybody's interested in purchasing paints this week, um, it's probably going to have to wait until next Monday because I am totally out of bottles and my order is not coming in until, well, they're shipping hopefully tomorrow. So my order probably won't be here until Friday. So I can't mix up any paint until then. But I do have it in the jars. I'm gonna need just a little more paint. I like RV salad too. I heard AC Moore was going out of business. I don't buy too much there to begin with. Their prices aren't the greatest. Um, I, I like to shop their clearance stuff, but as far as art supplies, they're way overpriced. Plunk. I might want to cover it just a tad, babe. No, I'm good. That's just a little paint that came out. Should I spray this a little? I didn't do it you before. You didn't spray it? You need to spray it. Just a little bit. We drive through Glen Burnie, don't we, when we go to New York? No. No? Never mind. <laughs> um, Holly and the Ready to Pour, yes. They do have um, pouring medium in them. And you can get them with or without silicone. So I'm going to keep the sale on until January 31st. And then um, every month I'll have something on sale besides, you know, just the 12 initial colors, the originals. We'll mix it up a little bit. That way it gives people a chance to get all the colors. And we, uh, we probably will start discontinuing when the spring line comes out. We'll discontinue some colors. So I want to keep it under 30 colors. It's a lot of colors to manage. It is for me, yes. So Alan just sprayed the back of the canvas with water because they're a little loose. So we just spray them with water. It tightens them right up. Yeah, I can't ship liquids to Australia. And I think the cheapest I could do the jars was $96.
Yeah, I'm going to do them seasonally, Monica. Like we did our fall line and we did our winter line and then next we'll have our spring and then our summer. And then next fall, I would like to, you know, mix it up a little bit with a few different colors. It's fun to play around with color. I would have moved that shot glass around underneath that black. <laughs> I am a mad chemist, that's for sure. I see. Merry Christmas. I'll probably be um, wrapping presents all day tomorrow, Al, if you're going to leave the house. <laughs> I got a fireplace to build, yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to put our fireplace together. That we bought, what, a month ago? This is a Boilermaker, Kevin. It's not, he's just tilting really slow. That's why it makes the lip of paint look so thick. We don't water ours down a lot but we just like it so it moves. That's good, Holly. <laughs> It's better to paint with your spouse than you have excuses when you need to buy supplies. Right, baby? It's nice when he goes to Michael's with me and says, hey, you need some more of this size or you need this. Um, Mary, when you're on live chat, you won't lag as much. It keeps you um, the latency the same as ours usually. Oh, and that too, Maria, top chat. You'll not get all of the messages, just some. Shelly, I hope you're having a great time. Miley, you tell Dave he needs to paint with you. <laughs> tell him I want to see a video. So much glare, baby. You're up to my. Right. I got to bring it down. Oh, one second. Camille's asking you how you're feeling. I'm getting there. I'm not as deep throated today, voice wise. I actually feel a little hoarse. 
Well, I made the big mistake of taking him out Saturday because we had to take the dog to get him groomed and we did some um, shopping. Not much, though. And um, it was cold and windy, which was probably not a good thing for him. So yesterday, we pretty much slept all day watching TV. Both of us were napping on and off. <laughs> but we did get caught up on our show, so we were good. <laughs> and I threw the, they had that recipe for the chocolate-covered peanuts that you throw in your crock pot. So I did that yesterday and made candy. It was yummy. It's yummy. <laughs> um, we're watching Dexter. I was ahead of him, so I figured while nap while he watches, I think he had to watch eight, was it, to get caught up with me? So I slept while he watched a lot of his stuff. Oh, you get squiggly because you're tilting too much, honey. Curious to see what happens. Comes up through this black along the outside. Let's do a close up. So you can see pretty much the black in the center. Just went right to the bottom. Yeah, I think the next series we're going to watch will be the uh, Game of Thrones or um, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Yeah, we watched Prison Break when it was on TV. It's supposed to be in the 60s here tomorrow. It was raining today. It was crappy out. You didn't bring the bucket out? Nope. <laughs> I will have to go get one. I tried getting into that Peaky Blinders. I just couldn't get into it. I watched... Was it three seasons? I just couldn't get into it. I tried. Maybe one of skins? No. <laughs> well, I tried. Somebody was asking for black skins the other day. My mother. She wants black snaps. I told her that was easy. <laughs> Okay, hey, what are you up to? About five, five and a half. I'm actually shrinking. I like stuff that I can tell Alan he's the bad guy. 
And he's like, no, he's not. And then I'll be like, yes, he is. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lucy, from Alabama. Good night, Dixie. Night, Judy. Have a very Merry Christmas. wants to know has anybody watched Vikings? No, but I want to. Hello Kevin from New York. Welcome back, Carol. Kevin, we're in New York. We're from New York. Originally, we live in North Carolina now. Is there enough there, you think? Sure. Yeah, Chrissy, usually I'm lurking in the background, except for on your videos. But even when I talk, I always say we. We. So I'm using a Payne's gray background. She just He's from Rochester, Al. Well, that's cool. Awesome. Been there many a time. Linda says she's watching the Vikings play the Packers on mute. Different Vikings. Uh, uh, Vikings are my favorite team. <laughs> Minnesota Vikings. I've been a fan of theirs for over 30 years. It's been sitting in my jug for a while, so I got a couple of goobers there. They said, Go Vikings. I saw them play at or in Orchard Park when they played the Bills. <laughs> we had all our biking apparel on. And uh, boy, did we get people coming after us, especially when the bike Vikings won that day. It was scary. <laughs> Brian said he watched the leaf blower video and turned out nice. Where is it now? It's in your office, isn't it? Yep. He has it at work. Vikings are ahead of the Packers. Good. Linda's a Packer fan. Bad. <laughs> Just kidding. To each their own, right? I'm not like that. Cindy Johnson said she saw the Vikings beat Tampa Bay live in 1996, and that was the last NFL game she'd been to. Well, I think mine was longer than that. When did I meet you? In 97? Yeah. Yeah, Christopher was just little the last time I saw the Vikings. And he's 29. Wow. It's been like... 26 years, maybe. That's a long time. I'm showing my age. <laughs> That's why Brian likes green. He's an Eagles fan in Packerland. 
I'm going to spray my five ounce cup with some WD-40 silicone spray. This will help release the paint from the cup. And on a flip and drag, I like to rub it in so I don't get any additional cells because I'll get enough from the paint itself. And I am going to move that canvas up. Okay, so I love Payne's Gray, and I love everything that goes with Payne's Gray. So on this one, I'm going to use silver, as soon as I can find it on the wall, silver. This is our silver spoon, and I'm going to use Nate's Stormy Weather. This is a modified Payne's Gray. And just to give it just a boost of something different, I think what I'll put in there will be the Galaxy Blue because that'll be a little different blue that'll highlight the stormy weather. I can either do that or I can do turquoise. And I think turquoise might be too light. Brian says, how about... Uh, annoying green. <laughs> Brian, I've already done one with green on a live on Payne's Gray. <laughs> so yesterday I was um, on Facebook last night just looking around and Mitch from Stone Coat posted a picture of the painting that I made him for Christmas. That had green in it, Brian. <laughs> Well, that was cool. I always send those guys a painting for Christmas because they're so good to me. They keep our stone coat product in stock for us. So I'm using a lot of silver in here because I want that to show up. So rule of thumb, when I do a flip and drag on the side of my cup, I'll show you on an empty cup. I never go past my pinky in height of paint. So I would never go past there. Otherwise you have too much paint. So I'm just gonna pop this in the middle. And wait for that paint to drop. Antoinette says, if this turns out too close, to her hex painting she just got from you. Please put her name on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see all my paint dropped out of the cup right down to the canvas. I'm gonna put that away. Otherwise it's gonna get paint on it. We haven't really painted painted out here, have we? We haven't made a mess. Although my studio is a hot mess. So I'm poking a hole just to get the suction out. And I always like to squeeze the cup just a, a little bit to let it bubble. That way I'm setting on top of the paint. So then I'll just glide this over. So I like to let it set and see where it needs to be filled in because I can see one spot here where I get a little too close to the canvas. So what I do is dip my cup back in the Payne's Gray and I like to just grab just a little bit and pull it over there. Brian's critiquing you. He says you never mentioned that trick before. What trick? I think the uh, squeezing of the cup. Oh, just a little. It's just a little. Just to get that paint so it's stuck around the edge of that cup. And 
This is going to be very blue. The galaxy blue actually showed up. Okay, so let me give it a shimmy first, and then I'm going to stretch it out. Brian said the cup squeeze. Yeah, not a big squeeze, though, Brian, just a little bit. So Lucy's got a question. She says, she watched your video on the tiles. How or where do you dry them? I just dry them on top of a cup on my drying rack. She said she would love to see your drying rack. And she loves your color combinations. Um, I think the drying rack is in our studio tour. Yeah, Maria just posted that. Thank you, Maria. We do have a video on us on the studio. We did a tour. It's changed just a little bit since that video, but because we've gotten some new things, but it's pretty much the same idea. We're going to have to, uh, when I, I'm, my plan is to open up the studio completely so that I have access to the middle at all times and everything will be around the outside. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christina. She's missing her, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. So let's see if I can bring some of that silver out. It's underneath a little bit. Because it's a little blue. But the one thing nice about our silver is it dries like aluminum. It's very flashy when it dries. So it will show up. And I put three layers of silver in that cup too. So it's there. I just have to find it. So the airbrush I'm using is in my Amazon shop as well. For those of you that are new to the channel. Um, all of the products that we use you can get in our Amazon shop. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Valerius wishes a Merry Christmas from Stockholm, Sweden. Let's see. I have the glare fighting me tonight. Lucy said she's never used resin and she's scared to use it. Don't be afraid. Start out on tiles so you get the feel of it. And then you can graduate to canvas. And then um, I prefer it on MDF more than I do on canvas. It's just easier to work with when it, the surface is flat and hard. But um, if you prop the um, back of your canvas up with cardboard, it'll more it'll help the canvas or the resin flow over the sides of the canvas, so you don't have any what I call blockage. Say hello to Roxy. She finally made it. And Hi, Robin's Roxy. joined us. I'm doing better, Roxy. Thank you. He doesn't sound better, but he's much better than he was. Believe me. <laughs> So when you guys heard him last Monday, he was just starting to get sick. So he took, you did take Tuesday off, or did you do half day Tuesday? Yeah, I took Tuesday off. Took Tuesday off. Wednesday you went to the doctor, right? Yep. So well, they, actually Thursday I went. They gave him an antibiotic and some cough syrup. And so Saturday, I think. I thought he sounded better. That's why I kind of said, let's go out and do a few things, but we really pushed it. Let me see if I can get it out of the glare.
the light's not cooperating with me, but this is really pretty. But I love this. Let's see if I can get it up there. I love how that laces out into that paint gray, and that's all silver. One and done. So, Antoinette, do we need to put your name on this one? It's not like the one she got, I don't think. Lucy, any question is welcome. You're not bugging us. When you do your necklaces with skins, do you have to resin them? No. You don't have to. Um, you can put a glass cabochon on top. Or um, they have this other resin that you can get that's UV. Um, you just put it on top of the skin itself. You can set it outside in the sun uh, for half an hour. Or you can buy the UV lamp that cures it within two minutes. Um, I have the lamp. And um, it just makes it quicker. Um, that stuff comes in handy when you're putting D-rings on the back of your MDF and all that fun stuff where you need to resin something on really quick. But I will, I'll probably show some of that after the first of the year because we're going to start doing some more stuff besides just painting. Um, we're going to dabble with alcohol inks and we're also going to be blooming. So probably the first week or two of January is going to be blooms. Blooming. So we're, I'm going to start from the very beginning and show you what I use and show you how I get the blooms. Blooming. Blooming. So get your bloomers. Yes, Linda. Yep. And you can pick those up pretty cheap. Um, if you order them from China, you can get them for like eight bucks. on AliExpress. And that's where you can get the resin too, for like a dollar a bottle. more people here than I thought we'd have tonight, which is great. Gadget time. holidays coming up. See, you'll have another use for it. <laughs> Good night, Holly. Merry Christmas, hon. That's a new gadget, right, from Kathy? It is. This is another version of a sink strainer. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I was just happy I got the tree up. Usually my tree is up by Thanksgiving, so I'm like really behind this year. And all I did was the tree. I didn't put any Christmas decorations up at all. I wish I could be doing that, Chrissy. I have a lot to wrap. Well, not a lot, lot, but I haven't wrapped anything yet, so. Neither have I. You haven't even gone shopping yet. And I already told you I don't need anything, so you can stay home and and recuperate, save your money. That's not fun. No, I like to give presents. I don't care if I get presents. Thanks, Carol. I like it. Next year, I'm going to do Buffalo Plaid. Every year, I try to do something different. Buffalo Plaid? Ew. Better start getting used to it. I'm going to wear black and red checks. 
I did find my, your sacks, by the way. You did find my sacks? Were they in your drawer? No. They're right where I put them. Yes, you can um, resin over an acrylic painting. We do it all the time. I always tell him, what could you possibly buy me that I already haven't bought for myself? <laughs> That's the problem. If she wants it, she buys it. I don't wait around because when I give a list out, I never get anything on the list. So I just learn my lesson and just buy what I want. Karen Maria just reposted that link for you. There you go, Christy. That's a good thing to do. My son has been in our bedroom for candy. I don't know how many times this week. I know he's snooping. <laughs> Linda, I'm, I'm really, I was looking at ornaments and all kinds of stuff today. I ordered the tree skirt, so I'm not going to miss my old ornaments at all. I have all red ones for next year, but I'm going to um, fix them so they're buffalo plaid. I figure I've got 12 months to get them done. <laughs> You're funny. Well, I have my cricket now, so I should be able to do some stuff. Now it's out of the box. It's out of the box on the cart. So I have vinyl. All I have to do is plug it in. <laughs> right, Carol? I hear you. I did buy myself a new bathrobe and I put it in a box and I told Alan, I said, I'm not even going to look at it because I don't, I don't even remember what I ordered. So I figured he can wrap that and give that to me. She takes all the fun out of Christmas. I say things I want all year round. If you guys don't pay attention, that's not my fault. Are we going to go to Vegas? I don't know. Who's asking? Are we going to go to Vegas? I'm asking. I think we need to. So our plan is to go to Vegas to the Artisan Summit. So there you go. There's my Christmas present. You're done. <laughs> Halftime. Vikings 10. Green Bay is 9. I think we need to go more than three days, though. You're killing me, Alan. Because <laughs> I know where you're going to spend those extra days at. <laughs> where? At the casino. How are you going to go to the casino if you're going to be doing, potentially doing demonstrations? That doesn't mean you have to be there. That's true. There's a method to my madness. Uh huh. There must have been silicone in that jug. Yep. It's got the little dots. Yep. I'm going to have to hire a new bottle washer. <laughs> it's okay with me. Works for me. But you just promoted me to the cheap bottle washer. No, you had a new job. What was the new job? Something else.
Well, normally, if Alan and I don't buy a lot for each other, which this year we definitely didn't, we buy stuff for the house. So today I ordered something and told Alan it's his Christmas and his birthday present, but really it's for the house. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lucy. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do a little variation. Of this strainer pour. Are you your cup upside? Nah, I would do it upside down. No, 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 no. Your cup's going to fill with paint. Exactly. Oh, okay. That's what you want to do, huh? That's what I want to do. Oh, what, and let it overflow? Okay, so color choices. What if you filled your cup with white first? You can do that. No, I'm just suggesting you don't have to do that. No, no I'm not going to fill it. We, I... I don't have any luck with green and red. I would get brown. Alan, you gonna do Christmas colors? If you consider blues and Almost. galaxy blue shimmer. <laughs> Porash Passy, purple shimmer. Sleeping Beauty turquoise shimmer. And morning pansy shimmer. Are you warm enough? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling the strainer. Um, so the cup underneath is just a, what is that, a one ounce cup? Yeah. Okay. Little medicine cup. Little medicine cup. That's going to fill with paint. I'm also going to get some drips out the side. But once that cup is filled, then the paint's going to start forcing out through the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a flip cup in the center after that's done with the paints that accumulate. So I'm going to start out with some white. Hi, Joanne. Merry Christmas. Then the galaxy blue shimmer. Followed by the Parash Poppy, Posse Purple, Poppy. Sh <laughs> purple Shimmer. Hi, Desiree. The Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Brian's eating cheddar cheese and Ritz crackers. And then Morning Pansy Shimmer. Thanks, Brian. Wait, yeah. Hey, Brian, I have a treat for you when you're done with that. Do you, do you, do you want a peanut cluster? <laughs> no, I'm not using dark chocolate shimmer. <laughs> My cup is full. So now it's going to just... Oh, I see what you're doing. Actually, that's cold dripping down the sides of that cup, too. Yeah, he needs pepperoni. One of my friends brought me this huge box of Hickory Farm stuff. When are we going to break into that? <laughs> Cheese and sausage. and mm. Hi, Deanne. Merry Christmas. It was interesting, huh, Bray? <laughs> I don't even need a lot more paint. You're going to have zigzagulia. I don't, but it's got to oh. dissipate a little. A little? A little.
Oh, he already ate all the summer sausage. We haven't opened ours yet. Probably will. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, right? Yes. We are having crab legs and prime rib, right? We didn't take the prime rib out. <gasps> I can take it out tonight. I'll, I'll soak it in the sink in cold water. Well, if it doesn't thaw, we'll have steaks. <laughs> Hi, kitty. It is the busiest time of year, isn't it? Everybody's running today. It'll be thought out by morning, Bri. I'm not worried about it. How many of them do we have in there? <laughs> what size are we cooking? <laughs> We got like three, I think. Alan loves this time of year when prime ribs are on sale. <laughs> he just buys as many as he can get. <laughs> oh, we couldn't turn that one. No, down. we found him for three ninety nine a pound without the bone. So we got all meat. And if Cindy Johnson's still here, we got him at Hills Grocery Store. I think that's the name of it. Hills. I love buttermints too, Maria. Just melt in your mouth. I'm going on a diet first year. I'm just letting you guys know. We can't talk about Cheetos anymore. <laughs> Kathy wants to know if you're feeling better, honey. Getting there. I know what I'll do is I'll watch the screen and the first person that says Cheetos, I'm going to put them in timeout. <laughs> Beware, Maria. <laughs> Gary's sick, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Kath. I know when Ellen went to the doctor, the doctor said they had how many people there that day? 11 that had the flu? It was quite a few. I don't remember the exact count. All I know is he said I didn't have it, so. I know as soon as he came home, I'm like, wash your hands. Don't touch me. Don't touch nothing. <laughs> It's bad here. Everybody's got it. That's why I don't go out and shop because everybody's shopping sick because they know they have to get it done. That's an interest. You don't even need that. Your center came right in. Should you use more white, huh? It's gonna be dark. Wow. 
Rock my baby. What color is that? There? Is that purple in there? Oh, that's the Prash Posse purple, isn't it? Mm hmm. opening up a little bit. I got this eye in the about center right that's just staring at me. <laughs> You see it? Right over there. Where's the? <laughs> Are you talking about that one right there? No. That one? That one. That eye? Doink, doink. <laughs> I kind of like this. I can poke you with it. So now the question is, is there anything under that white? I do with that little cup of paint? I don't even have it. I I don't know. Do I have a tile? You wipe this off and then you can throw it on here. Groaning about this week, a mess. I make fun. You make fun? Is that what you're calling it now? That's what I'm calling it. You probably have to put some color on that before you flip that cup. Actually, I put white on there and do it like a flip and drag. Uh, Mary, if I'm doing bases or um, candy dishes or something, I like just the PBO. But I found if I add a little bit of Floetrol to it, it goes a long way. So it all depends how much shine you want. And you know how we dealt with the top coat from Deco Art that was sticky? That's how these paintings are when they dry. So you definitely have to seal them with something that's not going to make them sticky. So I would put a little Floetrol in it or maybe just a little bit of water. And you know how I am about water. But something to keep it from stretching. 
on a painting because you guys all see those cells explode on me and then they even change more after they dry. So I would add either a little bit of flow trial or just a little bit of water. Down, down. Watch your arm. <laughs> good. Oh, good. I can do a big one then. Because yes. you gave me lots of room. Okay. So now what we have. Prop it up on a couple of cups right behind you in the corner. Doesn't matter if you get them dirty because they're just for that purpose. I have no clue what size that is. Looks like a five by seven. It's a weird shape tile. This is from my tile guy. No, that's one I picked up at Goodwill. I'm sure. Yeah. Or at Habitat for Humanity. It's a six by seven. Six by seven. It's an oddball. Uh, more like a six by seven and a half. So, do you think I need a little base? Yeah, because that little cup's not enough to cover that. Oh, wow, there's a lot of paint in there. Put, I was going to say drop it in some white and do like a little mini Boilermaker on there. Yeah. No? <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Just flip it over, let it drain out. Uh, coasters are what, four and a quarter by four and a quarter, I think? Yes. to do bitten. Oh boy, do we have a lot in there and then I have to mix paint too, so. <laughs> I'm going to have to help you wash containers. That's what you could buy me, more containers. Because <laughs> the three cases we bought weren't enough. No, this is going to be You could flip. do a dirty pour or you could do a flip and drag. Yeah, I like six by sixes for trivets. I know. The buying them by the case is so worth it. But I already told Alan, please do not buy me tiles for Christmas. I did that last year. Yep. Hi, Brenda. She said, good flip, Alan. You know, you could play with that with a palette knife and swipe over it with the white because it's so dark. That's up to you. Do which one. You can just tilt it if you want. Because you did have white in that cup in the bottom, right? Yes. Yeah, you should be fine. Uh, you can, Roxy, as long as you use a heat-resistant resin. Uh, Stone Coat and KS resin, they're all heat-resistant to 475 after a 30-day cure. That's funny, Carol. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi, 
Hi, Amber. It opened up nice, didn't it? I don't know if you guys watch uh, Melly D. She did the toilet tank top in her bathroom. It came out beautiful. That was a while ago, though. You'd have to search it out on her channel. That's pretty. Pretty colors. I don't see any purple in them. Oh, I can see it now if I look over there. On the camera, you don't see the purple. It all looks blue. Are you making that for your mommy? <laughs> no. No. Um, Karen, I like to leave mine with powder on for at least a day to soak up that silicone. And then after that, I rub the baby powder and then like brush it off. You can use a paintbrush to brush it off. Spritz it down with a water bottle and then wipe it with paper towels. But then I follow up with an alcohol wipe. I put 91% um, alcohol on a old washcloth or rag and wipe the painting off. You will pull some paint, so don't freak out. It's fine. But that's the best way to get the silicone off. Look at all those little cells. Um, Amber, I had a lot of people say that to me. <laughs> that they come back and watch and it says they're unsubscribed. YouTube had gone in... A couple weeks ago and cleaned out um, people that weren't active I guess on our channel but we didn't last year we lost like over 600 subscribers this year I think we lost maybe 38 which wasn't as bad he is feeling better Becky thank you so I always tell everybody just double check make sure they're subscribed and make sure their notifications are on look at those cells that's pretty babe Came out pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to do it to me again. I think it was last week because I had given Molly a heads up about that. And um, I didn't lose any subscribers on that one. Hi, Kristen. Merry Christmas. Skins. Bad, I didn't spray my gadget. <laughs> I'm gonna need a hot bucket of water pretty soon, huh? You forgot tonight. Okay. Get your. That's the one thing that you do out here that irritates me the most. <laughs> Take care of your rags. Do you want any skins? No, I have plenty of that color. Maria? <laughs> when Maria comes in May, we're going to have to paint so she can pull skins and then she can take them home with her. Look how pretty that sells out when you do that. She said, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> okay.
It's okay, Joyce. Everybody's busy today. We we get it. I don't know if I can get you guys any higher. I have my um thing down. What size you got? It's a twenty. It's an eighteen by eighteen. You guys are going to just fit. Well, you're doing that. I'll be right back. I'm going to do um, a measuring cup pour. Well, you two did something funky last year in December. And it cut my income in half from YouTube. So, and because I don't get a ton of views like I used to. So now I'm making like a third of what I used to make. But yet yeah, I'm still here and I'm still doing videos and I'm still bringing it to you guys. And I'm not, I'm not quitting because this is my life and I'm not going to quit. They're not going to get the best of me. So, let's see. Yeah, Bride, big canvas. So I want to get my measuring cup. So, I'm probably going to have to do the paint colors first because I got to put it here. <laughs> what you doing? I got to fill my measuring cup. So it's an 18 by 18. So let's see. Am I on the right side? Okay. So rule of thumb is five ounces for, for a square foot. So we want to go about 16 ounces on this canvas because it's an 18 by 18. But we're not covering it completely because we're going to have a base coat. So it's okay if I'm a little shy. So let's do some metallics. Um, I have some colors I want to use up. Um, I have Deco Art Teal Metallic. Okay, Kathy, better late than never. Let's use some Peridot in there, too, because the Peridot will go pretty with that. Lori Nye says she doesn't even get a notice anymore when you are on with anything new. Check your bell, because when YouTube changed, um, a lot of people got their notifications shut off. So check your bell. Make sure you're on all. Thank you, Chrissy. She liked that tile. Yeah, that tile is pretty. So I'm going to throw in some Craft Smart Champagne Pearl. Jots Designs is joining. Hello, Jots. I need a purple. Do you have any purple that we need to use up? She's like, check my what? Uh, bell. Your bell. There's on the bell. Click on the bell, and it'll say all, occasionally, or none. Make sure you're on all. Everybody, check your bell. <laughs> if you're not getting your notifications. That might be why. Let's put some interference blue in there. Uh, maybe green. Nancy, you can change that. She said her bell is set, but no notification. Yeah, change it to all. And if that doesn't work, then Maria su suggested unsubscribing, then resubscribing. <gasps> and then check it off with the bell to all. That scares me when they do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put our, um, is this, yeah, this is Copper Penny.
I want a turquoisey color, but I don't see any that we need to use up. We'll do the blue green from PBO. Get some cells. Well, I want cells. No, no, no. This isn't mixed with PBO. It's just PBO brand paint. Okay. Silly. Let me spray this cup a little bit. So Karen Turner's got a good question. When you varnish, do you use spray on or brush on? Or brush. do you use resin? I use brush on and I use resin. The only time I use a spray on is if it's something that's got to go out really quick. And I do about three coats of spray on. That's for pieces that say, I need it in two weeks. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. You're awesome. Okay. I must have done a jar that I broke, huh? I saved the lid. Tina says she really likes that color palette. I like this color palette too. Let's see what we can do with it. That's weird, Lori. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put the interference green in first because it's going to come out looking like it's white, but when it's dry, it'll be a green hue. And then I'm going to follow that with the DecoArt Teal Metallic. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Champagne Pearl. Cecilia says she gets notifications, but 10 minutes after you start. Yeah. I don't have any control over that one. So then we're going to do the purple metallic. Maybe we should start 10 minutes early. Well, that's why we kind of wait and let people come in. Good day from Australia. So from PBO blue-green. Welcome, Jennifer. This blue-green is pretty, but I like the green-blue better. And then we'll do the peridot. Hello, Stephanie. Glad you could join us. And then we'll do the Copper Penny. I'm going to do it one more time. Get it? Interference green, green top. <laughs> Deco Art Teal. I really tried to use this up, Al. Sorry. You tried to? I tried. Didn't happen. Champagne Pearl. That I have plenty of. Purple Metallic. PBL Blue Green. Stephanie says she loves her paintings from the last auction. Thank you. Thank you. What do you have now, stuff for? <laughs> and the copper penny. So Joanne Myers has a question. Yes. Have you used the primary elements? If so, can you add Floetrol after you liquefy it to get more paint? You really should use the um, the vivid the the. the yeah. The vivid enamel that comes with it. Um, if it's still too thick, you could add a little flow trial, but I would stick with what the product calls for. I haven't seen anybody intermingle those with like just paint. I don't know if Tammy Anderson has tried that or not, but that's a good question to ask. Like, people that use them all the time. The only thing I'm going to use mine for is the blooms. I have, I think, 30 colors now. I just bought the winter ones. I actually just got them. So 
this is going to be in and out quite a bit, guys, till I pour that paint. So bear with me. Let me get your reflection. Without having to uh, move my camera. Because after I'm done with this, I'm going to put some resin on um, some Christmas ornaments that I need to get done. Of course, they're not for this year. <laughs> but I need to get them off my drying rack. Uh, Chrissy Francis says she's seen Heather Mater add primary elements to paints to tint them. Yeah, you could do that too. To add to a color to make it more metallic y. Yeah, I've seen people do that. But I've never seen them mix it with a flow draw. You could always ask Leslie Onstead. She's she's the the person who puts that out. Monica Strickland says, "Look at all that paint on the wall. <laughs> it's dwindling. Look, there's not as many as there used to be. See them." <laughs> All right, this one, this jug must see it's a little kind of too. I don't, I'm going to have to uh, do an alcohol rinse on those. But it, it's not strong enough that it goes down into the canvas. So we're good. Okay, guys, once I get this color down, it won't be so bright. Here we go. That copper penny is going to take over. Mary's just letting everybody know Packers are ahead now. I just got a goober. Shh. <laughs> you made me you made me slip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Gotta go fish that goob out that I saw. Floating on top. <sighs> Brian says uh, he's got some molten metal metals to mix up for his next painting. Molten metals. Hmm. Should I wreck it? If I wreck it, I'll bring black into it. It's really pretty right here. No, yes. <laughs> Kathy says, hey, Christina, my family loved the glitter ornaments, including her grandson. Awesome. Uh, Jennifer says, no. Maria and Jat says, yes. Roxy says, yes. Jennifer says, pretty. Chroma molten metals and no, don't wreck it. Okay, I won't wreck it. Kathy wants to know, is Nate here? He was. He's working. He was watching us with a customer. <laughs> no, too much black. Joyce is saying no. Kelly Ward says, yeah. Chrissy says, no, don't wreck it. Well, once we stretch it out, we can't wreck it then. Okay. Let me head to this corner over here. It's good the teal is there in the middle. I love the purple with that copper penny on the outside edge. Very bright. So Ken wants to know. I'm going to get. What does that mean? When I say racket, 
So when you when you have the ring pour and you take it like a popsicle stick and just go through it to bring the black into it. I'm gonna get the speckles guys on the outside. It's gonna be speckly. All right, let me bring it back. All that in the middle is the green interference. So that's going to be um, a green hue when it dries. Wow, that light's terrible. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's dry because those colors are going to be so different. Hey, Betty, can you go grab my resin? I actually like the black speckles. I'm hoping it starts over here. Because then it doesn't look like it's just the whole canvas. But that's all. It's so bright, guys. This is not how bright it is. The camera's making it look really bright. It's an obstacle course. It is an obstacle course. I'm, I'm sorry. But I have Hobby Lobby orders to put away, and I have so much to put away. <laughs> so that's the teal, uh, teal topaz from Deco Art with the golden interference green. And then this hint here is the copper penny. And then we come out to the purple and it just repeats itself. But the peridot did not show up in the middle, but it is on the outside edges. So it's gonna be cool when it's dry. So next week I'll make sure I have the camera up higher so you can see the whole painting. I had it down because we were doing coasters last week. And I think everything I filmed was up close last week. So there. I don't need the measuring cup. Huh? No. I'm going to move this and clean up. And then I'm going to resin those four ornaments that I need to resin. Skins are not pretty, guys, at all. Did you bring the bucket out? I did. It's right over there. As I hand it to you. <laughs> Take this, honey. You can have it. Take what? That, that I gave you. It was a joke. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Appreciate your support. Merry Christmas. Ryan wants to know, are we going late tonight? Um, I'm going to resin a couple of things, and we should be done by 11. Right? Marie's <laughs> like, we might. Why do you have a date, Ryan? <laughs> he probably wants to paint, Maria. 
It doesn't work until Saturday. I know Alan came home Friday early and said, I don't want to go back to work till next Thursday. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Good night, Karen. Have a wonderful Christmas. Me, uh, me two of these, and then I'll make one of those. I don't need a lot of resin. So I'm going to resin the big the big balls that I did. I love the color on this. Yes, I am going to do the sponsor giveaway uh, New Year's Eve right after midnight. Right after the last pour of After Midnight. You don't have to be present. You don't have to be present to win. Because when you donate to the channel via PayPal, um, I have your contact information. And pretty much everybody that donates on Monday nights, I kind of know who you are. So I have access to how to get a hold of you. Now, give them a little secret of what you're doing right oh, now. Double gloving. So I can just take a pair off. I'm going to need some skewers. This one doesn't have a hole in it. I use the um, big ones. The big little ones. Where did I put? Oh, they're over there. On the rack, right behind my bed. There you go. Good job. So, I really love the way these dried. I wish I could keep that texture look to them because they kind of look leathery. This was the PBO mixed with Flow Draw. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Christina. Merry Christmas. I made four. This cup's got to go. These shorty cups have got to go, I think. Well, they might be all right. They might be all right. Your instruments of destruction. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have to switch to small cups. Yep. So the tall cups. There we go. Well, there's only one. So I'll show you guys how I resin these. So you can start preparing for Christmas for next year. Be ahead of the game. I don't like the tall ones. I poke myself with those. Like right now, like if I would hit that with my arm. I'll take them out. There we go. All right. So I'm going to mix up some resin real quick. It only takes a couple minutes to stir it up. I'm just filling to the very first line on my cups, which is a little over an ounce probably. Any helpful advice for people that have not worked with the stone coat? Um, don't weigh it. Always measure by volume because part Ugh. part A weighs more than part B. What else can I tell? So I always like to put um, part B in the cup first because it's thinner. It won't stick to your sides like part A will. And I'll show you why. So that comes right out of the cup. Well, when you're mixing part B, you really got to scrape it out of your cup. So this is why you don't want to put part B in first. I'm mean, sorry, part A. A is resin. B is hardener. So I like to scoop every little bit of that out of the cup. 
And once we get this going, then we'll change stir sticks because we don't want that stuck in there. So two minutes is what we stir. Echo, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Have a timer. <laughs> she can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Here, dog. Oh, hear him. Let him out. He's got to come see me. He wants to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I'm not worried about stabilizing them at this point with the resin because I'm going to be doing it so thin that um, it's not going to matter anyways. It's all going to drip off anyway, so I'm leaving just a very thin coat of resin on them. Now, when painting them, yes, I saw the two-stick trick. That was genius. I'll try that next time. Uh, Roxy says she just donated ten dollars, but didn't show up here. Did she do something wrong? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You guys can donate through PayPal. Um, my link is below in the description too. If you want to do it privately. So I decided I am not doing the channel membership anytime soon. So I'm not, I just can't do it. Oh, she did it, PayPal. Oh, just checked my email. See it. <clears throat> There's a couple there, but not yours, Roxy. May take a minute for it to come through. Echo stop. All right, so that's my two-minute mark. So usually that would be long enough, but I always stir it for almost a minute longer just to make sure. And I'm going to change my stick now. Okay, there was a question from... Mylene, she says, is the minutes of stirring the same even if you use big cups for large amounts? Yep. As long as you get those strands of the resin incorporated into the hardener, you should be fine. Yep. Joyce, I saw yours, PayPal. And Patricia's. And Patricia's. Yep. Thank you very much. Yes. Roxy says she's new here, not knowing the drills yet. It's okay. <laughs> she's learning the ropes. We love having new people come aboard and be part of our family. We um, definitely have a good time with people that are here every week. We get to know you, and of course you get to know us. We are not hiding anything. Yeah. Patricia, if you donate through PayPal, it does it. Um, it sends an email. It does not go through on the live chat. Yep. And um, we write every one of those in our book. The minute we open that email, we put it in the book. And that is the book that we cut up every quarter. We just cut all those names up and put them in the hat. Uh, okay. Lori and I wants to know what you have to pay to be on YouTube. YouTube um, is offering channel memberships now um, where viewers will pay $4.99 to get the perks. Perks. Sorry, you're getting perks for free from me. I'm not doing that. I don't think it's right. I look at it this way. Everything I learned to do is pretty much on YouTube. It's out there. Why would I charge you for that? Right? If you guys need help with something in general, just reach out to me. I can help you. But I'm not I'm not doing that. That's not who I am. That's not why I have a channel. 
So I just put a little bit on that bulb and I'm just gonna rub that all in nice and smooth. And I'll probably need just a little bit more because these are a little rounder. You do not want to torch this though. Especially if you're working on glass. These are plastic, so. Uh, couple of questions, or uh, a question from Jasmine. What's the PayPal account to donate to? Um, it's in the description under the video, hon. There's a link that'll take you right there. I think Maria probably already posted it once tonight. And Fran Wood said she's unsubscribed today to two ladies that are doing this now. So I think she's referring to the, to the channel membership. Yeah. Yeah. You know, YouTube takes 30% of everything we make on YouTube. So why would I want to give them even more money? You know, these little perks that we would do, we could even do them in the group to keep them just for the group members. So if you're on Facebook, make sure you're a member of the Prash Posse. Okay, so this one's all coated nice and pretty and glassy. So Brian wanted to know, was there silicone in those pores? No, not in these. These were the paints that I had left over from the vases that I just added, my fingers stuck, that I just added a little flow trial to so I had enough to get them done. I don't know if that's gonna set up high enough. Is there on the cup? <coughs> Excuse me. I may have to switch out to the greenery hunt. Those green things I have on the workbench. So when you donate to our channel, we do a drawing just for those people. We call you guys our sponsors because we buy all of our supplies with that money. We don't use it for going out to eat or going on trips or any of that stuff. It's the only thing we use that money for is for stuff for this for the studio so that we can do it in a video. So that's why we give back because... We appreciate every donation that we get. We're not in it for the money, guys. That's for sure. We're in it to be part of a, a group of people that are all in it for the same reason, and that is to learn and become successful pourers. So, you know, when you see something on YouTube, and send me an email if you want us to show how to do that, if we know how. If not, I'll go learn how. We'll try it. I'm game. What greenery are you looking for? Those things on the workbench to the left. The styrofoams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that will be better. Uh, Jennifer wants to know, do you resin your coasters and vases the same way as the ornaments? Rubbing the <laughs> resin on. I do, but I use a little more resin on the... Um, um, coasters. I do two coats on those. These will just get the one coat. I'm just sealing the paint in on these. Well, thank you, Joanne. She says, thank you for all you do. You Y'all inspire me and I have learned so much from y'all. Thank you. Hope I got the y'all right. Y'all. We've been down here long enough. You should have that y'all down pat. Over there, and hope they don't tip over. <coughs> We've been here for what 16 years now. <coughs> yeah, you should, have, you should have your y'all down pat. <laughs> I, Joanne says, that's right. <laughs> I don't have too many people say I have a New York accent anymore down here like they used to. The first um, first couple months we were here, 
I couldn't understand Southerners. Remember? When you went to work and you were like, they talk, they talked like they had a mouthful. Because <laughs> they like mumble. But now it's like, I understand everything they're saying now. just remember Chuck, this guy that his mom was dating. I could not understand a word he said. So I'd look at her and say, what did he say? <laughs> there. They look so much prettier shiny, don't they? Look at that. They look like glass and they're plastic. So that when they drop, they won't break. <clears throat> so I mixed up just enough resin. I have a little bit extra. Yeah, the vases are fun. I could just make bases all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. I um, I like to watch how that color falls off the vase. And you know, if you do that squiggly pattern on the top, it gives it a whole new look. Instead of just like ring pouring it or just pouring it straight. No, 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 Robin. That's not what we're saying. What? So, Joanne says we Southerners add syllables. Yeah. And Robin says, "Are you saying Southerners have potty mouth?" No. 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 <laughs> not at all. Are you kidding? Southerners are so polite down here. They wave at you. They don't even know you. You ride by them and they wave. I said to Alan, "Who is that?" All the time when we first moved here. Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to take one pair of gloves off. And I have two candy dishes I could probably get done with this leftover resin. That's what I'm afraid of, is I'm going to tip over. <laughs> Let's get them on there. They're twirling. Can I have, um, oh, they're meant to here. I'll hold it down. It's good. They're dripping. That's good. Cindy Johnson says, waivers live here too in South Carolina. <laughs> so on these ones, you can see where I left a lot of paint on the bottom and it cracked when I put the flow trail in it. So you can't leave it thick. So what I like to do before I resin these, I like to trim that paint off the top edge. That way this, the resin can seal all that paint to the glass. I don't know if I got enough to do too, but I'm going to try. I have a little bit here on my pad I can pick up. There. Maria was wondering, do you remember the size of those ornaments? Uh, I got them at Michael's. They're... I don't have the tag. Wait a minute, I do. Doesn't say, Maria. It just says DIY plastic ornament. Nope. They were four bucks and I got them, what, 70% off? I think. I bought them to hang up in the living room. So Monica says, make sure you get the y'all and the all y'all straight. Well, I used to say all y'all before I moved down here. 
And I don't remember where I learned it from. I lived in Texas for a year, so I did pick up some Southern when I was there. That's a whole different Southern, though. So I don't really have to worry about getting that edge really well because this will drip down. And then tomorrow I'll come out and take that drip edge off. And then I can buff it with a nail file on a buffing um, grit. Need some help on. I'm getting it. I getting it, baby. I appreciate you. Okay. I should have enough to do this one. I'm hoping. I'm not worried about the bottom because I'm gonna put cork on it. I made one of these for myself for my bedroom because I have candy dishes in my bedroom. <laughs> it's where I hide all the good stuff. Jennifer says, I'm from Australia. Y'all have accents to me. <laughs> I know when I moved to Texas, I worked for a company. Um, I used to design logos for United Emblematic. And I had a customer come in who had um, jeans. And he wanted a Yosemite Sam with oil rigs behind him. So I worked on that logo for <laughs> weeks. And my boss said, I need you to present this. And I said, I don't speak Southern. <laughs> Because these guys were really Southern. And I'll never forget walking in there. And my boss said, tell her to say check. <laughs> so he says, young lady, I want to hear how you say check. And I just kind of looked at my boss. I'm like, really? You're bringing all these guys in on the inside joke too? They used to pick on me so bad because that when you're from New York, it's the way you say check. <laughs> so there, I am done with my candy dishes and I am done with my ornaments. Monica, Any questions? Monica Strickland has a question. Yes. Can we use some yellows and greens New Year's Eve? She has plenty mixed now. I saw that, Monica. <laughs> and I, did, I was going to tell you that Monica had a ton of yellows mixed because I saw all your yellows. We have a ton of yellow on the wall. So yeah, we can use yellows and greens. I've got tons of green too. Pinks. We'll do pinks and we have um, like the terracotta caramel colors. We have a lot of those too. I'm going to mix up big jugs of the Praj Posse paint. So we have plenty of those to use. Danny Owen says, night y'all. Night y'all. <laughs> um, night Mylene. Merry Christmas. Merry so Christmas. I will probably have a video up for you guys tomorrow. I believe it's another PBL painting. Maria, did you want to see those um, cradle boards? I think you said you wanted to see those dry. Let me grab them real quick. Um, on the ornaments, Maria was asking, how much paint do you think per ornament? Um, probably about three ounces or more, three, at least three. All right, so this was, was this, this wasn't today's video. I think it was yesterday's video. It kind of lost its shape a little bit, but the colors are gorgeous. That green blue in there is absolutely so shifty. I love it. Okay. And then the one I did before that was the turquoise. The cells exploded, but it's beautiful. 
I had a tiny little crack here. No worries. After I resin it, you won't even see it. Uh, these are so pretty. These were going to be gifts, but I didn't get them done in time. Run my, my, mind. Which one, Maria? I know. This one, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, I was bummed. I didn't get them done in time. Brian was uh, correcting us. It's use guys. Use guys. Hey, use guys. Yeah. I know I used to always say, hey, gorgeous. So I can see they're already starting to drip. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab them as I can. Another little secret. Yep. It's taking those little drip edges off. So I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. Um, if I have time tomorrow, I may sit down and do my alcohol ink ornaments that I never got done. Um, so I can get that video done. I don't know. I got a lot of presents to wrap. But I appreciate every single one of you for hanging out with us tonight. We have a good time every Monday night. We love you all. Thank you for supporting us. Um, showing up every Monday means the world to us. And we just want to wish everyone a very, very, very Merry Christmas. And we'll see you all on the next one. Good night. Bye now. Yes, Cindy. <laughs>